right, so how is your take on like on different than on other takes? If you've seen other takes, you know, oh, like, or, okay. Oh, I love him just so much. Hello? Hello, yeah. yeah. I played a voice on that, so that was a big dream. Um, she's written different things, this is a different part of her life, and I hope that they do a great role show more of that, because this is her in her first moments with me. And she's not yet in the part of it, um, which is super amazing. I think she's just, it's almost a reminder of how epic it is what they do. They're so nice to bring up just one of them, they're just Batman. Um, so I like that she's like, oh, you know, like she's so ready. She's too ready in some scenes, as we'll see. Um, she jumps a while to go, but it doesn't even face her. And she's just there, literally like she's the thorn in Batman's side. Uh, yeah, so I think she's just witty in this, and she really wants it. And I really like that about her. As soon as I read her first line, like, I'm Miss Martian jackass. Like, <laughs> that's, yeah, that that, tells that, you that's, the a, that's a different Magellan. Right? Sure. Yeah. yeah. So I just went along with what it was. I didn't really do it seems like she's got a lot of interesting interactions not just with Batman but with some of the other characters as well is there another favorite that you had during when you when you were doing this that you're like I really like it when these two were together on the yeah definitely I mean my favorite scenes are the ones with Batman um, but yeah I love how she I would be very intimidated to be known. And I love how she just goes, what's our plan? What are we doing? Um, and I really love that when she's in people's brain, so when she goes into Starboy's brain um, at one point, she's very inquisitive and she's very curious. So I also like that about her, that she's not unfazed, but she's not overly phased either. What are your favorite qualities about Miss Martian? I love her superpowers. They're like the two main ones that people want. I mean, shape shifting, wow, awesome, being invisible, um, and then just being able to read people's minds. But I like that she's able to go through their memories. Um, and that's, I think, a little different than hearing what is on their mind at that specific moment. Um, but I like that she's the go getter. Um, I like that she's, she doesn't cower in the back now. She goes fight right back. And, you you mentioned that you have this you're the thorn of Batman's side it's like how was that dynamic with working with Kevin who's been Batman for like more than 30 years you know because Miss Marsh was very confident and not that I'm unconfident but I was intimidated of course she's not intimidated so even though he's a little annoyed at having to treat her and having me with him because you know, I ruin a few moments um, by just jumping in too quick um, I loved that dynamic if anything Marcel, I'm like Kevin I'm a really big fan that's me Miss Marsh is like Hi, I'm here what do you need <laughs> Very and you prepare differently with voice work versus live action stuff. You personally. Yeah, me personally. Uh, I I don't know if you see it now, but I use my face a lot when I'm talking, and I think my voice stays steady when I'm being me personally, and even with other live action parts. So it's really hard to sort of take my focus away from my face and my body and be expressive in that way, and to put it just into the microphone. So for me, it's just really focusing my energy. It's almost like a meditation of sorts that you have to animate your voice with what you're doing. It really helps if you can see the animation you're working on. The animation is going to be so important that that really helped them that they had a part speaker and the voice did. Um, just to be able to see. So I just picture it in my head and then just focus on this. Like, I close my eyes a lot, so sometimes I end up knocking the mic <laughs> a little bit. But yeah, it's, it's a big challenge. I'm still learning. What was the first thing you did in voice? The first thing I did actually for Greg Weissman, which is one of the, Greg Weissman, who's okay. one of the yeah. big guys at um, Young Justice, I did an auto movie. Yeah, so okay. I think he was the first one to really grab my voice. I did like a few more like, I played a little boy and mannequin and like, a baby and like, just like... Was it an audio play phone? Yeah, it was This is that Gargoyles convention thing that he does, right? No, this is a green ghost of the Green ghost? It's been so long. Okay, yeah. So, yeah. He 
wrote a trilogy of books. It's a good training ground when I was. It was. So I got to spend a lot of time with him, and that's when he invited me back to Young Justice. And that was just amazing. So I really owe my stuff to him. So clearly she feels like she belongs with the Justice League. How do you feel like the other members, aside from Batman, are responding to how, her, her confidence level? Yeah, you know, they don't address it. So I feel like they're okay. Like, at one point I addressed Wonder Woman, which I thought was amazing. Um, and she just answers as if Diana Prince is the So I think they're okay with having me there. And I don't think this story, I don't think that this question is So then I'm over here. <laughs> Do you have a favorite line? Yes. Yeah, I think, honestly, I think it's the opener. I miss Marshall, jackass. <laughs> Sets the tone. It sets the tone. That's all I needed to read, and I was like, I need to play this character. That sounds, that looks like it would be great in a Twitter bio. Just put that in there, yes. and you're good to go. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> if she was on social media, that would most definitely be it. That's all you need to know about her. Pretty much, yeah. yeah. How do you feel with Martian and the League uh, match up against the Fatal Five? I like how she does within the League. Yeah. Oh, she does a kick ass job. Yeah, she's crazy. They they animated some of the most epic fight scenes. And I always think that fight scenes are epic, but I think she holds her own. I really do. I know she jumps in a little early sometimes, but once she's fighting, she's good. And she's a good help to her. How do things go between her and Jessica Cruz once Jessica comes into the fold? You know what? That's a good question. They don't talk. Really? Really. And I don't know if that's a big spoiler. It's not that there's animosity there, but I don't know if it's like, hey, you're the new person, I'm the new person. Therefore, like, maybe only one of us can get in, and it's very obvious that we're protecting my life. So maybe it's with that, but I don't think, but I don't think she's jealous of her either. If you have too much green in one scene, it might like... Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Just washes it right out. Yeah. Can't yeah. have it. I mean, I have my red cape, so that helps in my red hair. So that helps a little bit. But I would love to see more of their interactions. I think that would be a really cool relationship. Because we're both in the same kind of place. I'm a go-getter, but she's a little intimidated, as you'll see by being on the lead. But she's a badass, too. Yeah. That be, yeah, they'd be fun friends. I would think yeah. so, yeah. yeah. Writers, are you listening? <laughs> <laughs> Are you listening?